Hey everyone, it's Carlo. Here, I'm gonna show you how to set up a delay in your mixes and to start getting the most out of them so you can be as creative as possible. Let's have a listen. A delay is probably one of the most creative kinds of effects you could possibly use in audio production. They can give you a vast variety of, of styles of, of effect, from reverb sounding effects to ping pongs and slapbacks. I love delays, and here in Studio One, what I'm gonna do is first quickly show you how to set up a couple of delays and the basic fundamentals of what they're all about. Now, in this demo I've been building here, we've got an acoustic guitar here in my left speaker. If you are listening to in headphones, that's really cool. If not, don't worry. Let's take a quick listen. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is in previous videos and subsequent videos, I showed you how to set up a, a send here. We're gonna send some of the signal to a delay and we'll do it in a variety of ways. So first thing I'm gonna do is right click on the track I wanna send it to and choose add a bus and we're going to name it, I'll name it delay. Very creative, I know. And what one thing I wanna point out here is we go through quite a bit here because there's a lot of information I want to cover. Now, when you assigning audio to ascend, right here under the plus sign on that track, I'm going to now choose delay here from the drop down. This is the amount, the level, the volume of energy and information I want to send to this track to share the, the audio with. So keep that in mind. And this is going to come into play here in a little bit. And also, if you look down here, it says delay. I want my audio here the main fader at my main track fader to continue to my main. So I'm splitting the audio here from the send to now my delay track that we just created. And I'm getting another copy that continues to my main fader here. Again, just a little recap for us. I want these videos to kind of build upon themselves. If I don't cover a specific or, you know, technique or topic when doing something, you'll typically find it further down the line in subsequent videos. Now, what I'm gonna do here is come to my effects and choose delay, and let's pick the good old analog delay. I'm gonna pop it right in that track. Now, I've got a delay here populating my effects bus. And one thing I wanna do is I'm gonna pan this delay all the way to the right. And it helps if you also solo, real world scenario, people, real world scenario. And there you have it. So now I'm sending some of this signal to my delay bus here, and we can control the amount of level of the audio going to this new delay bus. Here, let's check that out. There's none, it's all the way down. Now I can increase how much is going to my right ear now. Okay, so as I said, we, we can now send some to the main and some to the, the uh, delay here on my effects bus. So that's one way to begin using delays. And delays are great, I'm, I'm getting like this timed echo. So speaking of time, if we look at the analog delay here, you can see that we have an effect here, a processing function called time. And this is gonna divide it between here in your meter. If I come at, come all the way down and make a very, very fast delay, it'll sound more like a flangey stereo. Here's without, here's with. Now watch as I raise this in real time, you'll get some really cool effects. It kind of rubber bands its way up there. And that tail that you're hearing fading off is called the feedback right here. If I increase it, it'll continue on and on and on. and it goes on and on and on. Less feedback shortens that tail. There. So that's just some of the functions we're gonna cover in this video already. All right, so this is, this is really fun. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to show you how to send another track to this newly created effects bus called Delay, because you can now assign any of these tracks to this one effects bus. For example, right next to it, we've got acoustic chords here. Let me solo this track and let me 
deactivate the delay so it's not it'll continue to send the information if I don't if I don't deactivate it there and let's play this guitar all right I'm just holding some some chords in this pattern now I'm going to right click in the sense box set sense box here right here actually from the from the plus sign and choose delay you'll see that here is my effects bus delay and again now we're sending this one to that same delay. Let me solo that and let's take a listen. Sounds beautiful. And we can bring in the other guitar. So what we're doing is we're playing with the stereo field. When I deactivate this and you hear just the mono tracks alone, listen to the difference. Now let's bring those delays in and you'll hear that the stereo field is much more full. There. Now let me deactivate the analog delay. I want to bring in one of my favorite delays, the groove delay, and put it on my effects bus here. Groove delay is a really cool delay. It's rhythmic. It uses tempo information to create almost like a rhythm strumming pattern. Let me deactivate this one and let's just hear the strumming now going through the groove delay on this default setting. I love this delay. Now it's going to my right ear because you can see in my effects bus, I have it panned to the right. If I want the delay to be thrown to the left, Simply move it to the left. And you can play with the stereo feel that way. <laughs> uh, as you can see, delays are super fun. Um, now let's talk about the f uh, some of the functions of a delay. Let me bring in the analog delay again. Now. Most delays are going to be a little different. If you notice here in Studio One, we've got the, if you, if you from the drop down here, you got access to the speed, the feedback, and the mix. Three of the most important parameter controls for any delay there. Let me open this one up again. And like I said, every delay is going to be a little bit different, but typically you'll have some way to control the rhythmic timing of a delay, the speed of it. And this one includes the, low frequency you can you can modulate some of the low end you can cut off some of the some of the high end some of the low end which i think is really cool sometimes you don't want to repeat the low end of a delay and sometimes you also want to cut off the high frequencies so you're contouring the shape and tone of what's being delayed the delay sound and then the feedback here let's take a listen to this effect again let me solo that one take these off Here, we'll turn it on. So I can set my cutoff, my low frequency, say anything below 100 and 200, let's say 207 hertz won't be delayed. And anything, uh, so it'll be between 207 hertz and, and 4.85 kilohertz is what's being delayed. The width often will give you some special effects. Now you can use stereo delays, which will equally send the information out to both the left and right field. In this case, what I'm doing is creating a stereo field by using a delay. And then you have saturation and mix. This will control the amount. It's locked right here. But if I unlock it, it's kind of like a wet dry knob. So as you can see, delays can create a variety of effects from reverbs and ping pongs and slapbacks. And trust me, I'm sure you could go on and on about this hours spent on delays, effects and reverbs alone. But this is what I wanted to show you is quickly how to set up a delay and how to have a little bit of fun with it. And don't forget at any time, if you wanted to, you could still experiment with putting a delay, let's say right onto a track if you wanted to, for that kind of effect.
Remember, it's a mono track here, but then you have some limitations now with the parameter controls. It'll be right up the middle with the audio. Here's with it, here's without. Here's with it. Yeah. And as I always say, best way to find out is for yourself. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to download that cheat sheet in the description below.